Hey guys, Chris Rayburn here for the Roofing Channel. I recently had the opportunity to meet with Andy Schindler in Clearfield, Utah. Now he's the owner of Schindler Roofing Incorporated. Uh, they've got a great company up there and I couldn't wait to get there. We had a great time. I spent a couple of days with him and his family. Now we did a contractor profile where we sat down with Andy for about an hour and uh, discussed major things in the industry, how he runs his business, and then we got into some personal things with him as well. Uh, what you're about to see is actually part one of that video. Now, Andy is a National Roof Group member, so if you have any questions, be sure to get in the National Roof Group members only forum and uh, ask those. I'm sure that he'll be happy to answer them. Uh, so let's see what Andy had to say. Due to the posting limitations of YouTube, this is a shortened version of this contractor interview. We'd like to invite you to join us at roofingchannel.com to see this interview in its entirety and a whole lot more. You know, I think uh, in, in, as far as the crew goes and, and the men that I work with, I, I think that we're able to be a team because team isn't just a word to us. I mean, it's something we, we, we really have a, a team mentality. Uh, we work together at the, at the end of every week. Most of us spend more time with our coworkers uh, than we do with our own families. And so you, there's bonds that are created and uh, everybody working together just makes everybody's job easier. I mean, there's not a, a roofer in the world that's gonna tell you, hey, we've got an easy job. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, roofing is a tough profession. Uh, it's labor intensive, it's mentally straining, and it's, a, it's a, a lot easier when you can count on the person next to you. It's, a, it's, it's a, a, a lot easier and a lot more pleasant work environment when you trust the people that you're working around and can actually get along with them. I mean, uh, one thing that's often overlooked in this industry is it's also a very dangerous profession. And I have to have faith in the, in the man that I'm standing next to on that roof um, or I can't work with him. And, and so we've through uh, long-term relationships, uh, we've we've established a pretty good team that uh, that we're proud of, and I think that everybody knows their their part and what they're doing, and uh, um, it works really well for all of us. So, are you still on the roof actively working? As far as uh, actively working on the roof or, or laboring, uh, you know, I'll be perfectly honest with you that would be my favorite part of the roofing industry. It, it sounds silly to some. Again, it's one of those things that if you just don't do it, you, you couldn't you couldn't possibly understand. And I, I, I kind of wear every hat uh, in this company. I mean, from uh, the sales industry to the planning to management and, and project management uh, and actual labor on the roof. I, I try to labor as much as I can um, but unfortunately, uh, these days we've, we've grown to a point where we're so busy. I, my duties and tasks, uh, prevent me from laboring as much as I would like to, but I do find a way to, uh, labor, uh, on the roof with my men, uh, several times a week. So you're really kind of a family affair in that, uh, your wife, Anita, actually runs the office and, and what all does she do because <laughs> <laughs> you know um, it took a long time to convince my wife Anita to work for Schindler Roofing um, she spent 15 years in the insurance industry um, uh, besides just being a pretty remarkable person she has tremendous customer service uh, skills um, tremendous uh, computer abilities, uh, office management abilities, and they really um, transfer over into what we're trying to do. Um, I would say that the number one compliment that we get uh, is about our office. You know, wow, I mean, I hear it all the time. Wow, that gal you've got answering the phone, I mean, she really knows her stuff. Well, you know, she does. I, I've been in the roofing industry uh, approaching 20 years now, and I've yet to meet a woman that has the roofing knowledge that my wife does. Um, you know, I'd like to take credit for that and say that, well, she's been married to me for 15 years. But at the same time, that, that's, that's only what got her foot in the door and gave her a foundation. I mean, she, I've never seen anybody put as much effort into learning uh, this industry, 
um, learning the different applications, the different materials, the concepts. I mean, from A to Z, I've never seen anybody do more reading or research or, uh, you know, than, than Anita does. And she's a tremendous asset to this company. She's the, she's the first contact. When somebody calls our office, they don't get an answering machine. Uh, they get Anita from, you know, 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. And typically, when somebody calls and they have a technical question, they say, well, is there somebody I can talk to about, uh, you know, this or that? And, you know, Anita usually chuckles and says, yeah, can I help you? And more times than not, because this is a, a man's industry, um, you know, she runs into a few roadblocks there. People don't want to talk to her. And then they quickly find out that she's typically a heck of a lot more knowledgeable about uh, the roofing industry than uh, even they are. And mm -hmm. we, we hear it from our customers constantly. And, um, you know, this is year five that she's been employed with Schindler Roofing. And ever since she took on the managerial duties um, in our office, you know, our company has grown uh, tremendously. And, mm -hmm. and I really do owe a lot of that to uh, the efforts and the hard work and dedication that she puts into it. Well, not only that, but I think you guys get a lot of compliments on your website. And she pretty much did that from scratch. Absolutely. You know, uh, this is, you know, times are changing. Um, here we are in 2007. And I mean, if you're not on the internet, uh, you know, you're falling behind. I mean, it seems to be the convenient way for people to do business these days. Um, you know, most people prefer to do their research after hours, uh, sitting at home in their boxers at midnight. And Anita uh, single-handedly has built a, a fabulous website for our company. It, it gives us the opportunity to explain who we are, what we are, showcase some of our projects, and, and, and try to give our uh, potential clients the information that, that they need and that they can take their time in obtaining. I mean, it would take multiple hours of conversation with somebody to explain, you know, everything that they're trying to learn that they can do at their leisure on our website. And, and Anita, again, um, not only totally built that website on her own, but she maintains it constantly and puts a lot of effort into it. I mean, uh, we're certainly not having any more kids at this point, and uh, I believe that uh, our website is, is, is the baby right now, and uh, she's got a solid five years into that, and uh, um, she's real good at that. We're, we're real happy with the response there. We do get a lot of compliments uh, uh, about our website as well. If you'd like to see the rest of the interview with Andy Schindler in Clearfield, Utah, visit us at roofingchannel.com for that and a whole lot more.